Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Now, it's been a while since I've played this game, mainly because I'm uh, working on making a fucking... Mm, I, I gotta stop cursing. I'm working on making a tabletop RP... Mm, RPG. And, well, yeah, that's been consuming my time lately. I've been making class features and stuff like that. But anyway, let us continue with Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Is that a rat? I think that... That was a giant rat. What does this mean? Okay, so incinerate that man with the fuck. His head is upside down. Oh, who are you? What? Oh. I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. Ah, Dominique! So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. What? And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. What happened to the text there? I Whatever. Church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. shy away from danger but she deserves to be armed with all the facts yes very well I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle yes there was a mistake <clears throat> about that he admitted as much what you spoke to him then let me get right to the point I find it curious that the outpouring of demons Facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is off. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village, and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your sh- Um, hi. Oops. Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. The modeling on her is a little bit weird. I think her head's a little bit too small for her body. Somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. Wow, okay, that entire interaction was very fictional. Well, there we go. Ah! I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. 
Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. Glorious. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. Give me that chest. A waystone. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I don't have a key for that just yet then. Some kind of alchemy lab. Oh, hello, miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. Are you hitting on me? Sure. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait. Is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate, but I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right, I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? What are you looking to buy? I could probably use some potions. Kung Fu Shoes, Knife, Rapier! Muscatoon? Huh. Wow, 23. Hollow Point. Garbo hat? Is this right? Then we have a deal. What are you looking to sell? Do I have anything that is worthless? Is this right? 
this right? Thank you. Is this right? Many thanks. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. Oh. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. Ha ha! What? Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Sure. Don't mind me just casually annihilating your lights. Church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know. It's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Okay. What are we transmuting this time? What? Oh. Bat wings? I've transmuted an item. I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. I understand. That's interesting. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials. But it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. Yeah, that makes sense. You bring me the ingredients. I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. Seems a bit excessive, but okay. With proper nutrition and a very diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. It's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time? Okay, then. Johannes, can you tell me more about what happened ten years ago? It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The alchemist's research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. Wait, do you have anything else to say, good sir? What'll it be? From 
promise you'll stop cheating.